When Sony Ericsson released the X10 Mini Pro last year, it was praised for the solid user experience. Roll on 12 months and its successor, the Sony Ericsson Xperia Mini Pro, is here. It's the second smallest Android handset around, after its near-identical sister handset, the Xperia Mini. So, does this phone continue Sony Ericsson's run of excellent mobile phones following the Xperia Arc and Xperia Neo? What sets the Mini Pro apart is the fact that its diminutive footprint makes it only a tiny bit bigger than a business card. Even more impressive is that despite being 18mm deep, it packs a full QWERTY keyboard. Although each key is small, there's a decent space between each one, which makes for easier typing. There are dedicated full stop and comma keys, along with a quick launch internet button and four arrows for navigating web pages. It's a small detail, but it makes a big difference. The snap mechanism feels secure and wobble-free. Sony Ericsson has added its own skin to Android 2.3.3, bringing some very useful features. Each corner of the screen enlarges when you tap, revealing up to four icons or folders. These are accessible from each screen unless you choose to remove them by dragging an app on top. Facebook integration is among the best we've seen on a handset. Pictures stored on Facebook are accessible via photos whilst the Friends Music and Videos app connects to your Facebook account to display YouTube videos shared by your friends. Sony Ericsson is including a 12-month free subscription to McAfee Wave Secure and McAfee Antivirus software, which means up to nine contacts can be informed via SMS if another SIM card is used in your phone. <coughs> the screen is smaller than most phones in this mid-range bracket such as the HTC Wildfire S and the Samsung Galaxy Ace, which means that some of the widgets totally dominate the screen. The Facebook widget in particular is huge, with tiny text. 720p HD video quality is disappointing too, and when watching movies, the whites don't appear as bright as they should. Browsing the internet, colours also seem a little muted, and there's no automatic brightness either, although you can quickly dim the brightness. There are a few niggles with the UI too. Timescape is lovely looking, but in short, this incredibly fiddly Facebook and Twitter synchronisation app isn't really worth bothering with. The Xperia Mini Pro deserves to be a success. It's beautifully designed and well built, combining the convenience of a touchscreen for browsing with a full QWERTY keyboard. It's not perfect, the screen size and resolution means it isn't the best choice for movie fans and the HD video camera is a disappointment. If you're not bothered by the full QWERTY and front-facing camera, go for the Xperia Mini. But if email and messaging are your priority, the Xperia Mini Pro is for you.